my name is Miss Andrea and I'm a staff here at Girls Inc. of Orange County and today in Literacy Lab we are going to be reading a book called Gustavo the Shy Ghost. First, let's go over the anatomy of a book. We have the front cover, the back cover, up here we have the spine which is just like what we have, of course. It holds our bones together and sometimes gets shivers up and down it, right? A book spine holds together the pages of the book. That way we don't have pages just flying everywhere. So our story is about finding the courage to make new friends while staying true to yourself. Can you guys think of a time you were too shy to try something new? I can think of some. Sometimes it can be hard to make new friends and maybe we're feeling a bit shy or scared that they might not like us. Or sometimes maybe we try to change who we are so that others will want to be our friends. But that's not really nice, is it? Because we should always be ourselves. Ready to read Gustavo the Shy Ghost? Look at these pictures. Have you guys ever seen these before? Usually in these pictures, you're with your friends or your family. But here, he's taking these pictures by himself. Gustavo the Shy goes by Flavia C. Drago. Gustavo was a ghost. He enjoyed doing the normal things that paranormal beings do. Passing through walls, making objects fly, and glowing in the dark. But nothing in the world he loved more than playing the violin. Well almost nothing. Gustavo was secretly in love with Alma, the prettiest monster in town, but he also had a problem. You see, Gustavo was so shy that some things felt incredibly difficult for him. You can see here in the pictures, you have the ice cream truck and he's there, but then you see the ice cream truck filled with kids and where's Gustavo? Can you guess what it is that's difficult for him? And the worst of part of it, making friends was terrifying. Gustavo had never dared to speak to any of the other monsters. And I'm sure you guys can see, they're all playing, but can you find Gustavo? If not. He's up here. He tried getting close to them in many different ways, but even when he was right in front of them, they just couldn't see him. Gustavo longed to be a part of something. More than anything, he wanted to make a friend. I have to be brave. I have to let the others see me, he thought. So he decided to send a letter. A very special one. Dear Monsters, I would like to invite you to my violin concert, which will take place at the Day of the Dead party next full moon at the cemetery. I would be thrilled to see you there, Gustavo the Ghost. As the days went by, Gustavo couldn't stop thinking, what if no one shows up? What if they don't like my music? What if they don't like me? Except tonight was the night. And this time he couldn't hide. But not a soul had come. So all alone, Gustavo did what he loved most. And the music made him happy. And you can see him, he's playing the violin. So happy that he glowed. Oh, how he glowed. Gustavo! We wanted to get you flowers, but we got lost instead. And then we heard your music. We're so sorry we're late. And we saw your glow. You, we really loved your concert. Would you like to hang out with us? From that moment on, Gustavo's life changed and everyone discovered that even if he didn't talk much, he was the best at helping and protecting his friends. But mostly, Gustavo never stopped surprising them. 
and they never stop loving him. Look at all these pictures now. Before, if you guys remember, he was by himself, but now look, he's with all his new friends and he looks so happy. He doesn't look lonely anymore. Sometimes we have to be brave and take a risk to reach out to other people for friendship. It can make us uncomfortable, scared, and make us change ourselves. But you should always be yourself because you are amazing just the way you are. Well, until we talk next time, remember you are strong, smart, and bold. See you next time and happy Halloween.